Hello, welcome back to JB Cooks. My name is JB, and in this video, we're gonna be going ahead and cooking a beef stir fry. Now, I'm gonna be using New York strips in it. You can use flank steak if you would like, or uh, you can use sirloins excellent and economy friendly. Uh, cut along the grains, especially on those flank steaks to help tenderize it. Uh, what I did was went ahead and cut up uh, my uh, New York strips in about, you know, a fourth inch uh, thick sizes, ever how you would like it. And then added some cornstarch on it. Uh, I go ahead and add a little salt, a little pepper, and then I just go ahead and set it aside. At this point, I go ahead and preheat the cast iron skillet for about 15 to 20 minutes. Kind of cut up the vegetables. I'm gonna use um, uh, a little bit of a bell pepper, uh, kale. I also like this um, a corn here which you just get in a can like this, add a few of those, and I'm also adding a little stir fry veggie mix right here, it has little carrots and stuff in it. The rest of it's all fresh veggies. Add whatever you would like and uh, you'll be ready to roll with it. So let's go ahead and throw the steak right on in the pan. So yeah, it's been preheating. So just gonna add a little bit of olive oil on this preheated pan, cast iron skillet. Go ahead and move that around. And then let's get that steak on. Listen to that sizzle. I just love the sound of the sizzle. When you put a meat in a cast iron skillet, it is just amazing. And I'm using, if you have one, you'll definitely want kind of a deep one uh, or a wok. They have cast iron skillet woks. And of course, if you don't have a cast iron skillet, you can use this recipe in a standard pan if you'd like. If you have a lot of meat, you might want to go ahead and, and cook it in separate batches uh, to make it get done a little bit quicker. Um, I'm just going to toss it all in here. You may have to cook it a little longer, but if you do two small batches or something, you might be able to cook it two or three minutes and let it set aside. Uh, but let's go ahead and cook this up. So I think that's pretty good. It don't have to be completely cooked through. I'm just gonna go ahead and sear it. Of course, if you want your steak more well done, cook it to your liking. I don't mind pink in the middle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and set this aside. Now, after the pan has been returned, I'm just gonna add a drop of olive oil. Mix that in there. Then we're just gonna start adding our vegetables. So I have some kale, broccoli, bell pepper, corn, little corns, green beans. Just gonna mix whatever you want. Mix your favorite veggies up there and let that cook for a few minutes. You want it to be crispy. So we're just gonna let that cook in this uh, cast iron skillet for just a little bit. I'm gonna stir that up. Just wanna cook this for just a few minutes. About four cups of vegetables will do, four to six cups. I'm closer to the six side on nine, but I like a lot of vegetables. After about three to five minutes, check them. You want them to keep a little bit of a crunchy taste. You don't want to cook them too long, but you want to cook them long enough. And you can see how I did have a little sticking issues earlier, and these veggies has cleaned a lot of that up. And of course, when you're not sure, just grab one and let's just see how it tastes. Mm. 
Great taste, still got the nice crunch. It's ready. I'm just gonna go ahead and set this aside and we're gonna make some sauce. We're gonna throw it all back together. Just like that, if you got some stuff on the bottom, don't even worry about it. Just scrape it and let's make some sauce. Put everything back together and let's eat. Let's start with a third cup of water. Equal amounts of orange juice or one third cup. One fourth cup of low sodium soy sauce. I've got three cloves of garlic and some minced ginger, uh, ginger, about one teaspoon. I just used a cheese grinder for that. Go ahead and mix all this in. Let it just heat up nicely. All them flavors coming together. It's starting to smell, I can smell that ginger. Woo, that smells good. Love ginger. You don't want to overdo it. Just about a teaspoon or just gray just a little bit off. One and a half teaspoons, whoo, a little bit more of sesame oil. I eyeballed it. That is sesame oil. Throw that in there. Stir that up. Gonna add about three tablespoons of brown sugar. And then stir that in there. Once we've got all those ingredients, just let that go ahead and cook for just two or three minutes on the same temperature we had it on. Now at this point, after just a little time, let's just go ahead and turn the burner down to low or let it simmer in this cast iron skillet to kind of reduce the heat a little bit. Stir that in. Of course, cast iron skillets retain heat very well, so that temperature drop is going to be subtle. It's going to be just a little bit at a time. We're just wanting to slowly reduce the heat while we go ahead and continue making this sauce. And then after just a couple minutes, we're going to go ahead and re-add the beef and vegetables. Then we'll just let it cook a little bit. Matter of fact, let's do it now. We're just gonna go ahead and add the vegetables in here. Mix it up. Let's add the beef. Let's mix that up. Now let's just let that cook a few minutes. If you have a lid, you can place a lid on it as well. You're gonna sprinkle a little bit of cornstarch over this. You can add this before or after you add all the vegetables. I added it just a little bit after, and then we're just gonna mix it all in. That's cornstarch gonna go ahead and thicken this sauce up a little bit so that it's not so runny. Let's let this cook for just a few minutes and then it'll be time to serve. I got some noodles actually cooking on the side that I'm gonna to toss in here. And once you're ready, if you wanna add some noodles, uh, just get you some uh, chow mein noodles. Cook it according to the instructions. Really boil in water in three minutes, uh, three minutes flat. You're ready to go. I'm just gonna go ahead and add that in there. And there you have it. You've got some excellent beef stir fry. I've got corn, kale, broccoli, a little bit of green beans in there. So go ahead and make your favorite vegetable recipe with this. And it's amazing. So let's go ahead and check it out. So let's check it out. It actually is amazing. You can go ahead and eat it plain, without noodles, with noodles, throw it on top of rice, whatever you wanna do with it. You've got to try it. This is an amazing dish. You can also use chicken if you prefer instead of beef. Hands down, amazing. 
So I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below if you try this out. Let me know what you think. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to go ahead and click another video you see on this screen right now for more JB Cooks videos. I'll see you guys in the next video as new ones every week.